Today in the livestock market, cattle was a little bit lower. There is some mild profit taking right now, and it's looking more like a pause. It's still holding on to much of yesterday's gains. Now, the cash was sharply higher last week and expected to be um, steady at worst this week. And I think that's what's keeping the market still pretty strong. It's really resisting that slightly bearish cattle on feed report that we got on Friday. So there's plenty of support out there. We had about a dollar range today. The deferreds were uh, also a little bit firm. So we'll see. Seval is at 15.2%. Now the feeders today were firm. The demand remains strong. Box prices were up as well. August futures started a little bit higher today. Uh, we got up to 260.45. Uh, and then it slipped just a bit. Uh, the deferreds were slightly lower here. We did have a $2 range, but the futures are pretty much staying in that same $14 range that we've had really for a few months now. The new low in corn could be helping the beef complex as a whole, but we'll see. Seville's at 13.4% on feeders. Now the hogs did rebound. The traders seem to be cautious ahead of the hog and pig report. Uh, we had a $2 range today between uh, 86 and a half and 88 and a half. Uh, but higher beef prices should have translated to increased pork demand, but kind of hasn't showed up yet. The Reuters survey of analysts that showed that the herd was slightly larger than last year, but we'll see once the report comes out. Uh, the market is really heavily oversold. And for the last month, we've had double the amount of volume uh, in this uh, particular product uh, for uh, the entire month of June. So uh, there's a lot of activity here. Option open interest is um, heavy to the put side. And right now, 92 uh, a strike is one that has the highest calls and puts. I think that's something to think about because that could be an objective when we start to move higher. Uh, right now, the CVAL and the Lean Hogs is at 29.8%.